Hello everybody and welcome back to another F18C tutorial for DCS World. Today we are going to be doing part two of our SLAM ER or extended range missile. This is an air to ground missile that has TV guidance available using the Datalink 13 pod. And uh, we're going to be putting it through its paces today as we're going to be adding some steer points for the missile to follow before it goes critical or terminal. So let's go ahead and get started right away. First thing you want to do is activate the missile itself or start the timing process by selecting the slammer missile. You can see the timing comes up at about 10 minutes. However, it only takes about three for the timing to complete. While that is going on, you can still pre-program all of its flight information. So we have flight medium, which is the flight profile. That's going to put the air, our missile at 15,000 feet. High goes up to 35,000 feet and low sends the missile down to 5,000 feet. We're going to keep it at 15,000 feet. And then our electronic fusing, we want to set that to instant. Our distance, this is the distance in nautical miles from the target location that the seeker will become active and allow you to control the missile as long as all the parameters are met with the data link, line of sight and correct channel, etc. All right, so with that in mind, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to come down to our HSI. We're going to activate our sequence just so we can see a few things here. You can see here's our waypoint one. Okay, that's, there we go. That's a little bit better. <clears throat> we have waypoint one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Actually, there's one in between that. Um, but what we're going to want to do is add these last couple waypoints in. So waypoint eight, if we go up to waypoint eight, is our target location. Waypoint seven, a little bit before, six, five, and four. So what we're going to do is we're going to add waypoint or steer points four, five, and six to the missile. We're going to have it follow those turns. And actually, we can even come back one further and let's have it do three, four, five, and six. And at five and six, we're going to have the missile descend down to, oh, let's say 6,000 feet. All right. So let's go ahead and get started here. Now, what we're going to do first is as the missile is still timing in, we can still set everything else up. We're gonna make sure our data link 13 pod is active. We're gonna to go to weapon and we need to assign the missile to the data link. Make sure that it's talking to the correct missile. Now the way to look at it is if we go to our data link menu, from the tactical page, you have the data link 13 display. You can see channel two is currently active. All right, channel two equals station two is the way to think of it, channel is station. All right. So what we want to do is we want to assign chan or station eight to the data link 13. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this weapon OSB on OSB one. And until you get to this menu, I'd already tapped it, my fault. And the way to look at this and read this easily is w from top to bottom equals left to right. So OSB five is station two, OSB two is station eight. So we want to select station eight. And now you can see the slammer has now appeared over here. And if we return to the data link, you can see channel eight now selected, letting us know that we have the correct missile assigned. We also see that our timing has gone away now, which means that the missile is now ready to be used. So before we do that, we're going to come over here and we're going to go to mission to target of opportunity mode. We've already set up the rest of our parameters. So now what we're going to do is go to the slammer display page go to mission and we need to designate a target. Now you have target of opportunity one and target of opportunity two. Okay, you can actually set two independent target locations per station. In our case, we're just gonna use the one and we're gonna go to waypoint eight and we are going to do weapon designate. At that point, you can now see what we have here. The coordinates have been entered, but we have a problem. The elevation is set to 5,400 meters. So basically our current altitude almost. So we want to change that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to data. I'm going to come down and make sure that we are selected on waypoint eight. We're going to go to UFC and just change this elevation. Click the elevation, click feet, change it to 35, which is the ground level of that particular location. Found that from the F10 map. And then now we can see that the elevation has changed here, but not here. So how we fix that, oops, is we're going to just undesignate and redesignate. And now you can see elevation is now down to 10 meters, which does equate to about 35 feet. All right. Okay. So with that in mind, now let's figure out how to enter in those steer points we talked about. And I believe we decided on 
three, four, five, and six as our waypoints that we wanted to add. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go steer point. And this is steer point one for the missile, the missile's steer point one. Now, what do we want to use for the missile steer point one? You can either enter in manual coordinates or you can use a waypoint that's already programmed in the flight computer. So we're gonna use waypoint. And again, what did we say? Three, four, five, and six. So we're gonna go waypoint three, hit enter. Now steer point two for the missile, waypoint four for the aircraft, and enter. Steer point three will be waypoint five, but on this one, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna go back to steer point three and we're gonna change the missile's altitude. So we're gonna go to altitude, feet, and let's change it to 6,000. So we're gonna have the missile descend a little bit. From here, we're gonna go to, just cycle that steer point button again and select our steer point four, which is gonna be waypoint six. And again, set the same thing, altitude, feet, and we could even have it step down if you want it again, but we'll just leave it at 6,000. Be real careful going too low, because what I have found is you don't A, get a lot of time before the data link picks up the picture. And then I have found that too low, the missile sort of wigs out, because it wants to go terminal, it wants to go to altitude, however, it's got a pre-programmed altitude is set to it. So be careful going too low, because I found the missile sort of loses control. All right, but we have all of our steer point information into the missile. We have our target location into the, into the missile. We can come out of our active pause here and let the aircraft do its thing. You can see our target location out there, and you can see that we're at 63 miles away. So at this point, we have everything we need. Other than then, we need to be in air to ground mode. Let's come back here and select our display. Make sure that's all still set. And weapons release, missiles away. see it descending down to its cruise altitude of 15,000 feet. We can even bring up the data information so you guys can see all that happening here. All right, so I will catch you guys as we get a little bit closer to our next segment. As you can see here, the missile's cruising right about 6,000 feet as we had set, then following its waypoint guidance. So at this point, we'll just return to the aircraft, let it follow its waypoints, and wait for our seeker to come alive. Now, once the seeker comes alive, we will want to make sure to take control of the missile and guide it to its target. All right, we can now see the missile is now coming up to its terminal attack. We can change our field of view, make it our sensor of interest, pick our target, target designate, well, looks like we missed that one. Let's try that again. And there we go. And that is a destroyed truck. So that will conclude today's tutorial on how to use steer points with your missile. Um, next time we we'll, might uh, create some manual waypoints. However, we will be using the pre-plan mode in which we designate a very specific target ahead of time, such as like a uh, radar dish or something to that effect that we will allow the missile to steer through and track. Have fun and practice with the uh, altitude and elevation changes of the missile. It's a lot of fun watching it zip through canyons and things like that. Just remember, you can only have a total of five steer points. So plan that accordingly. And you can change the altitude of the missile mid-flight. For example, you can take it down to 2,000 feet and then say back up to 6,000 feet. But it's important to remember that all of that affects the distance the missile will be able to travel at that point. Okay, the more you change altitude, the more energy the missile bleeds, the more fuel it has to use in order to climb the altitude. It's just like the same thing with our aircraft. So... Every time you do an elevation change, especially a climb, you are severely inhibiting its distance. So just keep that in mind. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. This is an absolute fun missile to play around with. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.